In the previous lesson, we, we learned how to determine the equation of a circle. We did that by taking the information that they gave us, such as they told us what the coordinate of the diameter was, or they gave us the center point and the radius. In this lesson, we are going to do the opposite. We are going to take the equation of the circle, and that is going to help us to determine the center point and the radius. So for example, if I give you this equation over here, then we can automatically say that the center point for the x will be 3, because it's always the opposite of that sign, and the center point for the y will be 6. The radius will be the square root of that number, which is 7. Because remember, this part here is r squared. So we could say 49 is r squared, so then r must be 7. And if we had this over here, well then your center point would be at negative 9, remember it's the opposite of that one, positive 6, and then the radius would be the square root of that number once again, which is 7. Now we're going to complicate things a little bit. In your tests, you are going to be given an equation that looks like this, which is almost a circle formula, but it's not quite there. So what you have to do is completing the square. So you're going to do completing the square of that part, and then you're also going to do completing the square of that part. So all the x's together and all the y's together. Please make sure that when you do this completing the square technique that the number in front of the x squared over there and the number in front of the y squared is a 1. It has to be a 1. That is very important. In this case, it is. But if I had given you something like then what you would have to do, because these two numbers are not a 1, you would have to divide by 2. And those two numbers are always going to have to be the same, by the way. So don't worry about them not being the same. If they're not the same, then it's not a circle. So you're going to have to divide everything by 2. So we're going to end up with x squared plus 2x plus y squared minus 3y equals 2, 4.5. Then you can carry on with your question because those two numbers are a 1. Okay, so let's get started with the completing of the square. So the way it works, and this is just something you're going to have to do a couple of times and then you'll just get the hang of it. You're going to write down the x squared plus 2x part. Then you're going to say plus. You're going to open up a bracket and you're going to put a little square over here. And you're going to take this number and you're going to divide it by 2. So it's going to be 2 divided by 2. Then you're going to do the y part. So you're going to say y squared minus 4y. Then you're going to say plus. Then you're going to take this number, so minus 4 over 2, and you're going to square it. And then you're going to say equals, and then the number that was already on the right was a 9. And then you're going to say plus, and you're just going to add this part again, and this part. There we go, just squeezing that in. Then I'm just going to go ahead and simplify a little bit. So I know that this number here is a 1, but I'm going to leave the square there. It's going to help me just now. And then y squared minus 4y plus... I know that this is minus 2, so I'm just going to put a little minus 2 there, so that's going to be squared equals 2. Then this you're just going to put on your calculator, and that will just give you 14. Now what I'm going to do is these three terms are going to become one bracket, and then these three terms are going to become one bracket. So I'm just going to do this, and that's going to be x, so I'm taking that one, and then I'm taking that one, so that's a positive 1. And then I'm going to do the y part, so I'm going to take the y, which is that one, and the minus 2 squared equals to 14. And there we have our circle equation, okay? So the center, yeah, that went terribly wrong. So the center is going to be minus 1 and positive 2. The radius is not going to be 14, it's going to be the square root of 14. Okay, so I know this method is weird, but we're going to practice it a few more times. So here we have another equation, and at the moment it doesn't look like a circle equation, but we know that if we do completing of the square, then it will look like that. So we're going to take these two together, the x's, and we're going to take those two together, the y's. So if we start with the x's, it's going to be x2 plus 6x plus, then a bracket, squared, and you say 6 over 2. Okay, so that's always going to look like that. You're always going to say plus, and then whatever this number is, over 2. Then we're going to do the y part. So that's going to be y squared minus 8y plus bracket squared. Oh, that's a minus 8 this time, over 2. 
Then on the other side, we're going to put the 10 that was there. And then we're going to put these two parts on the other side as well. So it's going to be plus 6 over 2 squared plus minus 8 over 2. Just squeezing that in there. Perfect. Then in the next step, these three parts are going to go together. And these three parts are going to go together in a bracket like that and like that. So it's going to be x over here, y over there, and then I'm just going to say plus because this number is positive, and I'm just going to put a 3. And for this, in the, in the previous um, question, I, I did a step in between, but you don't have to do that step. Then this part here is negative 4. So I'm just going to say negative 4, and then equals to, and then you just type all of this stuff on the right on your calculator. And that gives us 35. And there is the equation of our circle. The center point will be minus 3. And the y value center point will be 4. The radius will be the square root of 35.